Within the Laravel framework, there's all sorts of built-in helpers. These are just convenient functions that you can call from pretty much anywhere within your application. And it covers lots of bases from working with arrays, strings, jettering, past, so on and so forth. Uh, but occasionally you find a need to come up with your own custom helper. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to pull up an example project that I've got. This is pretty much a brand new Laravel application. The first thing we need to decide is where we want to put our helpers. And there's no set place within your application structure where you have to put them. Uh, where I'm going to put them is under the app directory. I'm just going to create a new file in here called helpers. All right, and then in here, I'm simply just going to define a PHP function. And as an example, let's just create a simple function and we'll call it say hello. And the only job of this function is just to return a string, hello. Next, we want to make it so that any functions we define within this helpers file will be globally accessible throughout our application. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to open up our composer config file and go down to the auto loading section. Now, auto loading and how composer works with auto loading is used to make it so that throughout your application, when you need to use classes or functions, you don't have to explicitly require and include the files for those classes and functions. The system will just find them for you. By default, the type of auto loading that Laravel is using is this PSR4 auto loading, which is basically na mapping namespaces to directories within your project. Um, and that's why if you're in, say, like a controller file, typically at the top, you'll see a bunch of use statements for the different classes you want to use. And then, of course, you can use them throughout that controller. Now, in this case, we're not working with classes. We're just working with a regular file that has a function in it. So we're going to set up a new configuration here under auto load. And the setting we're going to use is just called files. Then we're just going to specify an array of files we wanted to auto load from. And within here, we're just going to give the path to that helpers file that we just created. And then finally, to get Composer to recognize these changes, I'm going to bring up a terminal window. And then within the project, I'm going to run Composer dump auto load. And from this output, we can see that it uh, regenerated our auto load files. So we should now have access to our helper function. Let's test it out. The first place I'm going to test it out is just in my routes file. And then I've got this uh, index route here. Instead of returning a view, let's just see if we can re uh, return the result of invoking our new say hello function. So I'm going to refresh that index route. And there we go. There's the output of our say hello function. It says hello. And of course, if we go back in here, we can make edits to this, save the changes, and refresh it. And we can see that it's picking up on any changes we're making in that helper file. Um, that step of running composer dump autoload, we only had to do that when we first created the file. Once it's created, you can make edits, and you'll see that reflected whenever you're using those helpers. Now, just to show that this is accessible globally, let's also just try this within a controller. So coming back to uh, web.php, I'm just going to comment out this uh, index route. I'm going to switch over to this one where I'm going to invoke a welcome controller and a method within there called index. So let me go ahead and open up that controller. And then within that index method, we'll return our invocation of say hello. And just to make it sure it's clear that it's coming from the welcome controller, I'll just prepend a string to this. So I'll say from welcome controller, say hello. So coming back to the browser, now when we refresh it, there we go. 